Alright everyone, I'm bringing you a War Thunder video, and there's going to be a few of these until Battlefield 4 comes out, because, you know, why not? And this is a fun game, so I'm going to be playing the crap out of Battlefield 4 comes out, we're going to be trying to upload as much as possible once it comes out, just because I know you guys are going to want to see some gameplay, so it's going to be awesome. Anyway, new patch just came out for War Thunder, it's good events, it's good some other stuff, but... This video is going to be my first video, my first official, second official War Thunder video. The first one was just, I don't know, but it wasn't too good. Anyway, this one is how to kill planes, how I kill planes. Really, it depends on which class you're using, uh, team, not class, um, if you're playing US, Germany, uh, US and Germany are usually the same fighting style. Uh, what's the, I can't think of the name of the other two. Britain and Britain and Japan's the same fighting style. They're both turn fighters. Uh, the, these are boom and zooms. And I don't know where really Russian flies. Russian's like in the middle of both. They're kind of like a balance. But yeah. So anyway, here's this game. Flying around. First thing I do right off the beginning of the game: get altitude. You want altitude. You're gonna have the speed event, especially if you're playing these planes, uh, US or Germany, because you get the boom and zoom tactics. You gotta be high and dive and attack and shoot back up. It's just I I, I have to get better at playing historic battles with these planes, because I am not too good at it. And as you can see, I line up for the JU88 A4. Got a couple shots, but the LA5, I think it was, kills them. Yeah, the LA5 kills them. So I. I'm still around 2,000 meters, I'm going to climb a little bit more, but as you're going to see later on, I try to stick around 2,000-ish meters. It's it's a nice, good, solid height to stay around. Any, yeah. So, uh, I come in, I see this ju 87s all kind of by himself. He got BF-109 going on the landing strip for some reason, even though it's already cap oh, our teammates trying to capture it. But you got this mess of guys. And right there, I was really hoping our teammates didn't crash or kill him, and they didn't, so... Perfect shots. Boom. Come in for... And then, immediately, right after I kill someone, there's no other teammates... There's no other enemies for me to shoot at. So immediately regain that altitude. Immediately. You want to stay high, because you want to keep that energy... That potential energy... Good. If you play Historic, you guys will definitely know this. There's a big difference if you're like, especially if you're in U.S. planes and a stork, you're just gonna get destroyed at low altitude. Cause you face Germans and they're just gonna boom and zoom the crap out of you and you're not gonna be able to do nothing. And that's actually what I, what I end up doing here. I think I get go on a nine kill streak with this one plane. It's it's some incredible feats. My general kills around uh, and like two. Him, I actually thought he was flying. I didn't realize he was on the airfield until like right about. Yeah, see, I was like, oh, well, he's actually just sitting there. Let me try to shoot him, and then, boom, someone kills him, make three kills him. So, I'm keeping that energy. I'm not immediately climbing because I see this bow fighter near me. I'm hoping to grab another kill, and I think I only get some hits, but he's going down anyway, so I somehow managed to get aircraft destroyed. And I'm still going like 600, so I regain my altitude to pick up speed. See, the Spitfire can't catch my climb because I was going 500 from the beginning. There's no way you can reach me. Even on Arcade. Sometimes on Arcade, you can dive and climb, and they can still catch you, and it's, it's stupid. i got two enemies to my right, so I... Situational awareness. I know that they're spawning over there, so I really don't want to go that way. Lucky for me, they didn't see me, because that probably... I think it was a BF-109 could have caught up to me. Uh, the German planes are really good at... Uh, no, it was a BF-110, never mind. But BF-110s are bombers, usually with the Air Cobra. I'm looking over here because I see the HE-111, Air Cobra's got the 37, it's really good for taking out air targets, like, ridiculously good for taking out air, like, uh, bombers, because they have a huge surface area for you to be able to hit. So, if you play, if you play Historic, it's a little bit more difficult, because you gotta really conserve your ammo, because you only got, like, 30 shots or something like that. But in this, because you can just keep reloading, it's it's only a 20 second reload time compared to like the 30 or 40 for uh, for the dual 20 millimeter cannons, because most planes don't really have that, so it's always a plus as well. But you only have like a handful of shots, so see him. I didn't go for the P39 because he was turning too much. I knew I wouldn't have been able to go him, so I keep the momentum. Go for the Spitfire, 
realize I can't hit him, turn away, it's BF-110, just kind of spray a little bit, get a few hits, and just keep going, regain that altitude again, so I can just do the same thing. Sometimes it gets kind of boring, which I could see some people would understand, it's it's pretty boring to just kind of fly down, smooth, and kill, but, I don't know, I just find this era Cobra so much fun to do, like, the 37, if you get those one shots, it feels so satisfying. You watch that bullet curve and it directly hits the plane, you see his wing fly off and you like, fly through the debris of the plane, it's, that's just, I, it's just such a cool feeling, you just, yeah, I just, just destroyed that guy. And then, it's not like, I find Aero Cobra, if I get killed by an Aero Cobra, I'm like, oh yeah, but if I get killed by a Yak-9 T, which has the same gun, I'm like, oh, the <laughs> with the Yak-9 T, what a douche. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. See, this guy's going wicked slow, so I'm really easy to dive on him. Just a few shots right there, boom. And on the way up, I am wepping. If you haven't noticed, we're time emergency power to help me gain that extra little boost of height. Because you don't get what you start off with. So if I'm at altitude, say 2000, I usually level off around 200 kilometers an hour. This is usually when I try to level off. But if, if I'm going like by going for the dive, and then I whip out, I'm not going to be going fast enough to regain that 2,000 altitude. So I got to go back down, take some shots, and but I got you got to whip up and maybe level off a little early. It really depends on the dive. Like this dive, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull up because of how low I'm going. It's not a straight down dive. See him? He goes in for the turn. I know I cannot outturn a Spitfire. Don't even want to attempt it. Out of cannon ammo. Lucky the 50 cals are actually really good. Him, don't even try to turn into him. It's kind of a bad situation because I see the entire enemy team right there. Getting shot at from behind, want to see who it is. It's a bow fighter, but I'm gaining distance from him. He did hit me once, so I'm a little red, but lucky enough, nothing too serious. And I'm going to get my revenge on this guy, it's pretty great. He couldn't catch up to me, I was going way too fast on that dive still. So I turn around. See, as you can see, I'm only, I'm wicked low, but he, he tried to catch me, gives me a prime shot, boom, gone, immediately gone. See another bow fighter over here? Oh, let's see, he's turned in, shot out, hit, 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 like, so, sometimes, and then, and then I get close and I just kind of spammed, because I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to kill him, but, he started turning, and I know he cannot outturn, and you're just going to keep going you can't just you can't just stop it, do, it doesn't doesn't work that way doesn't doesn't work that way <laughs> you just gotta figure that out that you get a down shoot take off so after I circled around for a bit I come back down see another guy trying to land on the airfield to capture he's he's getting destroyed by the IL-2 so I see the bow fighter I know Hopefully he doesn't see me coming in from such a steep angle. I'm per expecting him to go for the IL-2. Luckily he does. And I get the angle to destroy him, critical him. Don't kill him. So I kind of spray a little bit and just keep going. See a Spitfire coming for me. Oh, that was close. Close collision. Just, you gotta, you can't do head-ons in this game. If you do head-ons in this game, you're gonna get destroyed. You have to be the one to turn out of the way, because 95% of the time, they will not turn out of the way. So that's that's what I've noticed. <laughs> so it's it's head ons are pretty pretty dangerous. Most of the time you don't want to go head on. Unless you've got, say, a Yak 9T, because its rate of fire is way better. But as you can see, H one eleven H trying to go for a landing. Oh look at that. Going slow and slow. Critical I've got a bunch of hit markers, aircraft destroyed. There we go. Air Cobra. Don't start to turn, realize he's going slower than me, he's gonna have a better turn. So, I just keep going. Boom. One shot that HU-112. Perfect shot. Uh, bombers are easy to hit with the Aero Cobra. It's just over here now. Okay, here I got an E-Shack on my twet tail. I, 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 I probably pronounced that way wrong. and People complaining and crap, but I don't care. Uh, <laughs> um, so behind me, I got a guy. I'm coming towards my teammates. I'm like, I need cover. Help me out. I, c I know I can kind of outrun him, but he's still doing damage to me. It's a higher tier E-Shack. It could be the premium one. Meaning he could, he might have cannons, so as you can see my right wing's pretty pink. And I pull, and luckily, my teammates do end up listening. That MC202 over there helping me out. And I was like, oh, awesome. And I thought he was still following me, so I kept going, and then I realized he pulled off, so 
I'm like, oh, that's sweet. And I'm gonna go kill him, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna kill steal him, because then you see him on fire. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, let's get him. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna kill steal him. I'm gonna be kind of nice, because that guy was helpful enough to actually help me. Usually teammates don't really help you. So I go for this Zyak 7, and he's got a, I've got a nice view of his like entire plane. Boom, there goes his wing. I'm 9 and out right now. <laughs> It's, it's pretty, pretty good game, to say the least. See their entire enemy team over there. Just the entire enemy team. They're on C, so I'm like, all right. I look around. You get a scout out for targets, so you check the mini map occasionally. See, there's nothing. All right. Bow fighter down below me. I wanted. I was trying to get that 2,000 altitude so I could get those shots, but I see the bow fighter. This one was kind of a, it could, this could go in either way, you gotta be careful of your teammates, you don't want to shoot your teammates, it's really annoying if the teammate hits, but the teammates can't seem to follow this bow fighter, he's got that turn, and, oh, almost, I've only got like six shells, of boom, perfect, he was going, I was just nicely aligned behind him, done, done, <laughs> done, there, so, regain the altitude like I said before, just keep going, that's how you have to play the US. U.S. and Germans. Uh, Germans are a little bit better because they climb a bit faster than U.S. So this is a S-79. It's one of the Italian bombers, I believe. And boom! I was not paying attention to my sexual situational awareness, and a Spitfire just destroys me. Should have checked my mini map. And I was like, no, he he just basically one shot my kill streak, pilot KO. And I was like, huh? Wow. Alright, let's see if I can find him. I was gonna revenge kill him, but I did did not know where he was. So I was like, alright. I'll let him. I was a good kill. Give him that. It's that's a plus. <laughs> I was not paying attention to my surroundings. If I saw him I probably could have outdived him and just taken off with my speed. But it, it could have gone either way. Arcade is a little little iffy with the whole if you can outrun someone, because sometimes planes can catch up to you when normally they couldn't. Uh, the the models are a bit tweaked for a kid compared to historic, so... See this lag tail on my teammate? I'm like, alright, I'm gonna try to tell the guy that I'm coming in. Hopefully, it's sometimes if he listens, he can get him into a nice location, but it looks like he died, unfortunately. And I saw my teammate over there to the left, but realized he's dead too. Get the lag nicely. See, I ha usually I run stealth to try to get the more damage output, see the Beaufort come in for a landing, try to try to get him with my with my 30 millimeter, it just didn't work, so I go for a loop, see this is a bad move right here, I knew it was a bad move as I did the loop, because I was like, oh, and I critical him, and he gets my wing, unfortunately, I get the aircraft destroyed, but him setting me on fire, criticals my wing, and it, for somehow, it criticals my tail, and now I'm dead, but I'm 12 and two so I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that I'll be like all right that's that's pretty sweet and I pull out the last plane and as you can see we, we, we weren't doing it was a pretty good game I have to say this is a pretty good game it was pretty even and somehow we still managed to win I think it was because we got all the ground targets or something I don't, I don't know we still managed one even though they have two of the points and we only have one so yeah and I thought and yeah it was the end of the game it was a pretty good game in my opinion uh those 12 kills unfortunately i didn't get any xp for the game you're not gonna see it here because i stopped recording before it happened but what happened was it said game disconnected so i got nothing returning you to lock to log stream so that 12 and 3 game it's gone poof there goes all your hard work so you win some you lose some what you gonna say it's pretty mad but you get over it and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe for more, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the deal. Watch out some of these, watch some of these other videos we got on the screen. Pow, pow, there they are. Do it. This is it, Marines! Let's get them!